and welcome back to another day of vlogmas and in this vlog your girl is doing some housekeeping because it needs some cleaning down here we're making some laundry we got a little do in the kitchen area but the main thing i want to do is actually clean my stove because i don't know when the last time i cleaned my oven when well, i say it <laughs> She looked tired. She looked tired. But before we get into this video, if this is your first time visiting me, hello, welcome. I hope you love it here. But while you're here, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Also, like this video. Be sure to share and also press the notification bell so you'll be notified when I have to upload. And those who came back to see me again, hello. Thank you so much for your love and support. All right. Um. In addition to that, I want y'all to keep letting this channel grow. We are over 400 plus subscribers i'm so thankful my goal is to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year i mean if not it'll be fine whenever the lord says so but my goal is to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year so let's boost these videos up to your family and friends and whatever now if you hear the noise it's, some, it's a heater over there that i don't know what's going on with but we can't keep it warm down here for our cats so we down, i'm down here in the laundry the add-on room part and I'm about to do some laundry, and yeah, I just actually just came from Walmart to buy some more laundry items. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I just ran out of this. I just purchased some more of that. So that's that. Okay. So the first thing I want to show y'all is this Persil. And this is the Advanced Deep Clean the Intense Fresh. You know they got the one that's Oxy as well, but I don't like the smell of that. I so I, I just can't get with that. I don't know. like smell like some real hard dish detergent or whatever all right so the next thing i got is this oxyclean i use this every time i wash clothes it's good for uh odors and stains all right the next thing i got is this big thing of uh downy clean breeze fabric softener i need some more fabric softener uh because i've been using this one well i've been refilling this one over and over again with different ones and you know you can tell that this ball is beat up. It's time for a new one. So I'm gonna use that one and throw it away and then keep my my new one. Um I bought some more of the liquid, you know, the sanitizer. Laundry sanitizer because we need stuff like that, because you know, sickness and not only that, you know, it's really needed for those towels because you know those towels they're filled with germ and sometimes you know it'd be hard to get the smell like the towels. And things like that that kills the germs and everything in it gets rid of the smell. So if you want looking for a big boost inside your towels, purchase that. Okay, purchase that. And the last thing, well, it's not the last thing, but another thing I purchased for my um laundry item is this Downy Cool Cotton Instant Booster. I love these. Items. I don't know when the last time you purchased some, but i got some today so i don't want to be able to just put a little bit in each load just to give you know that load a good um of fragrance and freshness so yeah so right now i have my comforter in the washing machine i had no deep wash and i washed um my comforter and right now i'm about to dry it my sheets are all washed and dry i'm just about to dry this comforter I'm gonna put this in. and everything so yeah and I want to use this thing that I got from a, a teacher friend of mine. It's a good thing I did buy some more for this. I'm about out of there. Little small jar. So this, that's the big one I bought. But anyway, I want to try this. Um, this, my teacher friend, uh, she, her name, Charla. She put me on this scent, um, on this laundry detergent that smelled so freaking good. Cause we just um did a um what it was a Christmas program. Uh, I went to a Christmas program that Tuesday, I want to know Wednesday for Kylie and she came by me and I said, girl, what is that smell? It smells so freaking good. And she said, I don't know. She said, you know, it might be my laundry detergent. She said she used the stuff called Diva. It smells so good. And so the next day she met up with me and gave me the dryer sheet. It's like a dryer sheet that, it, um, that comes in that brand and it smells so good and it smells so strong. And this is my first time I'm going to use it because I smelled it earlier, but it smells so good. It got like these little beads in it. It's its own dryer sheet, so you don't have to put anything in. So I'm ready to put this on my covers and um, do that. Also, when I get done, also when I get done um, doing all the laundry, I'm going to um, clean my washing machine 
as y'all, if y'all who follow me on Instagram, I use this washing machine cleaner uh, to clean my washing machine because I can tell now it need to clean because the sides of the wall of my washing machine is starting to look a little dull and I don't like that. So I'm going to show y'all the um the washing machine cleaner that I use uh, to clean my washer because you have to wash, you have to clean your washing machine when you use it. Okay. If you hear anything, that's my dryer. So right now I'm about to wash my nephew clothes. Um, I'm going to separate and wash his clothes. Um, and then I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in the kitchen and get started on, um, the washing machine because it needs to be, not the washing machine, the stove, because it needs to be clean. So let me get started on these, but when I get done loading this washer, I'm going to show you the washing machine cleaners that I use. All right, so I'm back. I want to show y'all the things that I use to clean my washing machine. Uh, it's these Eco Gal Eco Swirls. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I did um, advertise this right here, but I actually do use these because they, they work out a lot. So I didn't just get up there and, and um, advertise. I actually use these. So since um, I've been watching a lot this month, I have to use it. It's about time you use some more. So these are Eco Gal Eco Swirls. This lighting is terrible down here, so it's going to make it do what it do. Um, but I do use the, what you do, you take two tablets and you put them on like a deep wash on hot water. If you you can get a, if you can get a cycle that lasts two hours, that's good. But if not, it's fine. Let's get it close to two, two hours as you can. So you just put these in the washer and just take them out the tab because it comes in the tabs like this in little packages like this. And you just pretty much just take two of these out of the package. Throw it inside the barrel of your washing machine. Turn it on heavy duty or, or wash washing machine cleaner whichever one and you uh put it on hot setting and then you just let it do its job and after that you will have a highly highly clean washing machine all right so now i want to get started on my stove and i'm going to be using i see a lot of people do this so i wanted to try it i see a lot of people got they use the power wash, the Dawn power wash, to clean the washing machine and not wash. Why do you saying washing machine? To clean the oven. <laughs> they use the Dawn power wash to clean the oven, and I think it'd be a good, better way to use it because the regular oven cleaner is so it smells so loud. I want to try this instead because it's the fresh. They had the fresh scent and the lemon scent, and just the regular scent. I won't get the lemon scent, but I said you know I'm just gonna go for the fresh scent. So um, I want to do that uh, for as far as cleaning my oven and then I want to get this here I seen a lot of influencers and a lot of youtubers use this and everything is must be good but I see a lot of people use this CeraVe acne control cleanser right here and I really want to try it because I have been working on my skin as you can tell that it has been getting a whole lot better but I have been having blackheads coming up like that right there and have some like some little blackheads coming up too so i wanted to try this to see how it go maybe it'll boost my um vitamin c oil that i use too that vitamin c and tumor oil i use that day and night and uh, i say it does one it does one like my hyperpigmentation is nowhere as near as it used to be because it used to be terrible especially on this side as you can see it's almost gone on this side i have a pimple just came around right and the one just left but you see i got some up on here and so hopefully that this will help with my acne. It says reduces the blackhead and help prevents new breakout. Improves the look of pores without disrupting the protective skin barrier. And said with three essential ceramides, hectorite, clay, and niacinamide. So I want to try this with this. I started to get the uh, the face moisturizer as well, but I said, you know, I just use the oil and I'm just going to be dumped. I just need something, a, a good cleanser because I used to use the Andalou. But the antelope used to purge my skin terribly, and I can't stand that because you have real, real big um, breakouts, and I didn't like that. So hopefully this does not do it. I see a lot of people use it, so we're gonna see how this go, and hopefully I can give y'all some good um, feedback within the next two or three weeks. So also I picked up some freezer bags from Walmart. Um, because Kevin went to one Robins to a meat market and got three big cases of chicken. Uh, I think I got like two two boxes of legs and one box of 
thighs and stuff, we just said we're gonna pick up other type of mix from like pig or wig or something like if we need any beef or anything like we just pick that up and I also picked up some aluminum foil. I've been meaning to get aluminum foil for weeks now. So when I walk past the um freezer um bath, I end up picking this up. So let's head over here and get this oven clean. Alright, so I'm embarrassed to show this, but here is my oven. And I said I need to clean this thing. I really need to clean. I've been procrastinating over and over and over again. But your girl's about to clean all this. We're gonna try this this stuff right here. We're gonna try this stuff right here and see how this go. So I seen a lot of people clean with this, so I hope hope it works um well. Hold on, I gotta open the what's color? It's not open. Alright, so this spring. Let's pray this works out. Cause baby, she needs some cleaning. She needs some hard down cleaning. I wasn't a good steward of this right here. Right. This thing hurt my wrist. All the food that I'm dropped in there. I'm thinking I'm gonna line it with um aluminum foil. It's a good idea by that. Aluminum foil, so I don't have to end up having no more of this. Let me finish spraying this y'all, cause this don't hurt my hand. Hold on. Right, so I just sprayed it down the oven. It's completely sprayed. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little while, let it do its thing, and then I'm gonna come back and clean it. And then we're gonna see what it looks like when it get done. So, man, we'll see you in a little bit, y'all. So I'm done with the oven. It's a whole lot better. I lined the inside with some aluminum foil to make cleaning so much easier next time. Cause baby, I screwed this stuff with the death. I put my back into it. Yeah. All right, that's that. Let's go on to our next project. y'all so i just got done washing the dishes and everything so we got the stove down and got the dishes washed now i'm about to sweep them out the floor kevin just got done putting up on uh, bagging up meat on uh, from the meat house so there's like blood and stuff on the floor so i'm about to get ready to sweep and mop today i'm gonna use my old cedar mop with my um uh, mr clean but um what i do to prepare my mop water i pretty much use um i got this old water that was used today my kettle and Kevin, can I get it from you? I think I got it out of the Kevin, but he pretty much um boils water inside the kettle for the mop bucket. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm filling the um 
the kettle up for the mop water. I think I'm gonna do it twice so I can have enough water to saturate my um mop head into so I can um get a good efficient mop. I'm not gonna use my power mop on the day because I want to do a hard down clean and everything. So that's what I'll be using my regular mop head. So let's get this water um put this plug up put this on here sit down and we turn it on and once the the light uh, once the water get hot the light will cut off and the um, kettle will cut out all together and I'll pour it inside my mop bucket and then I will start it over again so <sighs> we get things done on today we said we're gonna clean up today on Saturday but guess what we cleaned up so let's get it going clean up in here it smells so good that unstoppable that um mr clean unstoppable scent um cleaner is off the chain you got the whole house smelling good and everything so yeah i have a few more things to do i'm just not gonna vlog i'm gonna get everything over with but i want to thank you all for joining me on today cleaning with me just a small clean with me and everything um, I just want to let y'all know I appreciate y'all so much. Also, make sure that you subscribe if you have not. We're on the way to 500 subscribers before the year, before the year end. Let's try to make it there. If not, it is fine. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <sighs> anyway, thank y'all again. Those who came back to see me again, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And until next time, y'all spread a whole lot of love, happiness, and peace. And I'll catch you the next one.